This video is just to introduce you to the audit tool we've, de we've developed alongside the MSK Physiotherapy Service Standards. Um, as you know from reading the standards, each quality standard has a structure measure, a process measure, and an outcome measure. Um, and this is designed for service to services to examine the quality of their service um, and to repeat this order at appropriate intervals to help monitor progress of quality improvement initi initiatives over time. Um, additionally, it's also a good way for services to um, focus on one standard and use it to prioritize um, their areas of improvement. Um, this first page is just the overview page. Remember in the bottom right hand of your Excel spreadsheet, you can always uh, zoom out to make it all fit on one page or zoom in to make it a bit bigger. Um, the first section just goes over the quality measures, what they are, what they're for. The second section is the instructions for using the audit tool, um, which is really important to read before you start. And we've just included the eight quality standards here as well. Um, and at the top, feel free to add your own um, trust organization logo here. So we've read our instructions and we're ready to start. The first tab is the results dashboard. Um, now I'm gonna, not gonna spend too much time on this now because we haven't populated anything. So this looks blank. Um, it's really important that you read this explanation box on the top of all of the tabs because that um, explains what this page is and what you need to do to populate it. Um, but this results dashboard will automatically um, populate once you've completed all, all the tabs following. So we'll check back in here after. The first tab we're gonna look at is structures measures. And this, this is quite a straightforward one. Again, make sure you read the explanation at the top um, before you begin. So you'll see on each of the tabs, there's enough space to conduct four audits um, and you'll agree within your service how often you want to do those audits. So we've left a spot here for the date. Um, so we'll just change that to Feb 2022 and that way you know when the audit was done. So to do the structure measure, order, you just need to read the measure against the quality standard. And if your service meets that, you just simply select yes. And you go along and do this for all the, all the standards in the first order column. Okay, and you can see that down the bottom, that's automatically tallying how many you've answered no and how many you've responded to yes. So that's the structured measure. The process measures we're going to come back to later um, because this, there's a bit more detail going into this. So there'll be another video talking you through that. So we skip across to outcome measures. Again, read the explanation read the explanation at the top and then just simply select the drop down in response to quality standard seven in the audit one box. So let's say we do that three to four times. And you'll see these ones are RAG rated. So a RAG rating, um, if you get red, that obviously indicates there's some area for improvement, followed by amber and then green. So the reason we've got quality standards seven and eight in here is because that can be done by you as a service, but the outcome measures for quality standard one to six, they're patient, patient reported outcome measures. So we've separated those out. So we just come along to the patient outcomes data section. So this section is only for services who don't currently have any PREMS data collection in place. So if you do have PREMS data collection in place, um, you can either keep that separate um, or you can um, amalgamate it into this toolkit as well. But if you want to do it, keep it all in one place, then this is what this page is for. So if you had no PREM collection in place, you would obviously have to create a questionnaire um, with these questions. So did you feel your needs were met? 
how was how good was your healthcare professional involved in you as much as you wanted to be in decisions about your care and treatment and then these are the responses along very good good neither good or poor and once you got those um questionnaires back from patients you would then have to come here to do the data entry of that so in the first round of um prems you might have had um 50 people send their forms back and we had let's say we had 30 people answer yes definitely uh five people asked to some extent 10 no not at all and five don't know can't say and you can again you can repeat this as you do your next um your next prems and that's going to show improvement over time and you go through and do that for all of these questions and then on this last tab, that's where you're going to see the results for your patient reported outcomes. So we've kept those separate. So now that we've done our structure measure and outcome measures, you come back to the results dashboard. And this is where every, and once you've done your process measures, this will also be populated. Um, but this is where you can see everything, um, the top level results, and you can see your improvement over time as you do your as you do your audits so again you can add your service name or organization name here um, if you hover over the top right hand corner of each of the tables it gives a little explanation about what that graph shows and ideally like what you want to see over time that would indicate that you're now meeting those quality standards so this is the structure measure table and this is the chart relating to the structure measures these are your process measure results and then we've got just one table for outcome measures as well. So that's it as an overview. If you want some more detail on how to complete the process measures section, um, then you can watch the next video. If you have any questions at all um, needing to be answered once you've watched these videos, how to go at doing the tool yourself, feel free to contact the team um, at msk standards at csp.org.uk.